Hi everyone, this is a re review on how to use a ratio table to solve division problems. So say for example we're trying to solve the problem 280 divided by 14. Remember you can think of that as like a reverse multiplication problem. So you could say to yourself, hmm, what number times 14 is going to equal to 280? And so we can set up a ratio table just like we would for multiplication, but instead of um, putting the number on top here, that's the, the number that we don't know. So we leave a blank up here, and we're trying to think, well, what number times 14 is going to be equal to 280? So you might want to just, this one should be pretty quick. It's easy to multiply by 10. Uh, 10 times 14 would be 140. And then hopefully by now, you can see that 280 is just going to be double um, 140. So the twice as much as many times 14 is going to be equal to 280. So that was an easy example. Um, basically, you want to just remember when you're setting up a ratio table for division, um, start off with 1 times the number, and then whatever number you're dividing by. So 280 divided by 14, make sure you put the 280 on the bottom and not on the top. Otherwise, you'd be multiplying.